thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic today is the Native American Indian and People's Coalition for Democratic Growth. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about the Native American Indian and People's Coalition for Democratic Growth, uh, Mr. Albert Bender, who is the coordinator for that organization. And of course, Mr. Bender, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning to talk about uh, this organization. Now, but before we get into uh, talking about this organization, let's talk about uh, Albert Bender and to have you to give us some information about your background, your education, your experiences, and some of the things that were important that eventually led you to the coordinator of this organization. And then we'll talk about the organization and some of the things that uh, this organization has been involved in and some of your future plans. Let's do it from that perspective. Okay, fine. Well, one, I have a um, law degree and I have a degree in uh, history and I consider myself as being a historian. Um, I've been a practitioner of law for, oh, I guess about the last 24 years mm -hmm. and I'm also a, um, a journalist mm -hmm. in that I write for two major Native American Indian newspapers. Mm -hmm. I also uh, write historical articles for various magazines and I write political commentary. Mm -hmm. And so you're very, very involved in terms of being active in disseminated knowledge and information in reference to uh, the Native American Indi uh, Indian experience. Let's talk about uh, that, the name of that organization. Now, what, what about this organization? Let's talk about this organization itself. Okay, well, one, uh, the reason that the name is a little bit longer than usual mm -hmm. is because we wanted to get the essence of what the organization deals with. One, it's called Native American Indian because of the fact that it had its genesis within mm -hmm. the struggles of Native Americans to stop da grave desecration mm -hmm. in the Middle Tennessee area. Mm -hmm. And the reason we call it the People's Coalition is because it's not just an organization of Native American people, it's an organization of all people. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Anglo people who work with us, we have African American people who work with us, we have Hispanic people who work with us. Mm -hmm. So it's from the standpoint of a people's coalition, mm -hmm. it's all the people of this city mm -hmm. that we want to work with mm -hmm. and we, that we've been trying to bring into our organization. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what, what's the purpose of this organization uh, and, and its founded? Well, the purpose of it is to stop, well, originally the purpose of it was to deal specifically with the stopping of the desecration of Native American mm -hmm. grave sites uh, ancient burial grounds and historical sites in mm -hmm. the Middle Tennessee region. Now, how was this done? I mean, wh how, how, was, how did this desecration occur? And what do you do, do, uh, uh, describe or classify as desecration of uh, these sites? Well, one, the desecration started with the development that mm -hmm. takes place here in Nashville. Mm -hmm. You have residential development, you have industrial development, mm -hmm. and what happens when these uh, public and private entities start constructing mm -hmm. buildings, businesses, and the like, mm -hmm. they invariably or almost inevitably mm -hmm. run into Native American burial grounds. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that yeah. is because in ancient times, yeah. mm -hmm. a thousand years ago, this area of Middle Tennessee right here in Nashville yeah. had the largest Native American population in the entire southeast. Mm -hmm. There were tens of thousands of Native Americans living here a thousand years ago mm -hmm. and as a consequence you had uh, just a, a, an endless string of burial grounds and village mm -hmm. sites so whenever development starts going into Good. just about any part of Nashville they inevitably mm -hmm. run into these Native American historical sites mm -hmm. and graveyards. And so the, the purpose of this organization is to make sure that once that happens that those uh, uh, grave sites can either be preserved or at least make sure that uh, the relics that come out of those sites are preserved or taken care of. Is, is that? Uh, That's um, correct. Mm -hmm. And to also ensure that the remains, the skeletal remains are treated with dignity mm -hmm. and that the artifacts are kept with and if there is reburial in a specific area mm -hmm. um, where the uh, remains were found, then mm -hmm. those artifacts are reburied with the skeletal mm -hmm. remains. And we want to make sure that there's no illegal trafficking or selling mm -hmm. of those artifacts and remains, as has happened so often mm -hmm. here in the Middle Tennessee mm -hmm. area, and in fact happens all throughout mm -hmm. the South, though. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that many of these things that you're talking about, uh, certainly your organization and those that are <coughs> active with you are are well aware of these things, but many people who are not uh, actively involved in your organization, we read about uh, 
desecrations in the newspaper, et cetera, but we really don't understand or see all of the things that you can possibly tell us in reference to that. Uh, talk about that, uh, this whole idea of grade desecrations and what has been done uh, in order to uh, make sure that this does not happen again by your organization. Well, one, what we've been doing is whenever we uh, find that uh, a site is, has been discovered in the course of uh, development, we go to that site, we um, contact the uh, public or private entity that's involved, we try to persuade them either by general persuasion or by protest and demonstrations mm -hmm. not to disturb that particular area of the site because mm -hmm. there, there is still a lot of open land in the Middle Tennessee mm -hmm. area mm -hmm. and there are still a lot of other places where these uh, developments can be constructed rather mm -hmm. than on a Native American site mm -hmm. every time uh, development mm -hmm. starts expanding again. And the other thing is so some really egregious things have happened mm -hmm. in the course of this in reference to uh, Native American skeletal remains and artifacts. Mm -hmm. Uh, two to three years ago, there was a case of where a, the skull of a Native American man had been put on sale mm -hmm. and it had um, lights put in the eye sockets mm -hmm. and the mouth was being used as an ashtray. Mm -hmm. There was another case of where the skeletal remains of a, another Native American mm -hmm. had been taken apart and constructed into the shape of a guitar mm -hmm. and this was and it was being sold here in Nashville. Mm -hmm. There was another case of where the skeletal remains of a Native American woman had mm -hmm. been taken apart and reconstructed into the shape of a dog. Mm -hmm. So these type of just uh, uh, monstrous des desecrations mm -hmm. were what we just became so outraged that we, that we felt we had to take some type of mm -hmm. public action. Good and, and now how has the uh, state reacted to uh, your organization and some of the things that you're trying to uh, become involved in. Has there been any kind of legislation, I guess that's what we're, we're asking, that would prohibit <coughs> this kind of activity from going on? Or is there any kind of national movement? This is, is this uh, peculiar only to the state of Tennessee? No, it's not peculiar to the state of Tennessee, but it happens more so in the state of Tennessee, mm -hmm. I think, than any place else, because Tennessee is considered the most archaeologically rich state in the entire Southeast. Mm -hmm. And it's very uh, good that you brought up the issue of legislation, mm -hmm. because that's something that is pending right now. In fact, in the next oh, two to three weeks, mm -hmm. there is a bill that has been introduced by one of the legislatures that will require that Native American artifacts be reburied with mm -hmm. the skeletal remains. Mm -hmm. And heretofore, what had happened prior was that, in often many instances, the uh, artifacts were mm -hmm. separated from the remains and sold on both the legal and illegal market. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, this bill that has been sponsored is coming up for a vote in a state and local committee mm -hmm. before the legislature. I'd say in about the next couple of weeks, and myself mm -hmm. and other people will be there mm -hmm. to speak advocating that this bill be passed by the legislature. Do you think that you'll find much opposition to such a bill? Or how, how, how is the reading so far in reference to that? It's kind of hard to say at this point. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'll, I, I couch it in those terms yeah. is because approximately two years ago, we had a similar bill yeah. mm -hmm. before, the legislator, before the legislature, and we thought that mm -hmm. it would pass without too much of a problem. Mm -hmm. But do you know we got up there, and out of something like uh, the vote, we literally got, uh, we were devastated. It was only 19 legisla le legislators in favor of the mm -hmm. bill, and something like 40 to 50 against. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and that, as I said, was two years ago when we were expecting the bill mm -hmm. to pass. So this time we can only cross our fingers mm -hmm. and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. And so you're, you're very active not only in terms of working in the field, but you also look within the uh, state of Tennessee and within other states I would imagine as well to uh, look for some kind of legislation that can uh, help you in terms of what you're trying to accomplish. Is that, uh, that is correct. What, what we're trying to lay out yeah, here? Yes, that is correct because in the course of this struggle, we have uh, researched the statutes and laws from mm -hmm. all the other states throughout the southeast, mm -hmm. states in the northeast, states and, in the west. And let me interrupt this uh, for a minute here, Mr. Bender, for our first commercial break, and we'll be back with you following this.